Welcome to Public Record Office Victoria's Map Warper tutorial. The Prof Map Warper allows users like you to help bring our historic maps and plans into the present. We need your help to position them correctly over a digital map of Victoria. This service works best in either Firefox, Chrome or Safari browsers. The easiest way to find it is simply by searching for Map Warper on our website at prov.vic.gov.au. With Map Warper, we can turn pixels into real geographic information by layering our historic maps onto a web mapping tool. This process, called rectification, allows us to visualise how places have changed over time. To join the Prof Map Warper team, just create an account using an email address and sign in, then you'll be ready to start working with maps. You can do that by simply going to the top right here, create an account, filling in your details. We'll just log in at the moment so we can show you some other functionality. Now that you've logged in and created an account, you'll need a map to rectify. You can do this a couple of ways. The easiest way is just to browse all maps and clicking status here, you'll see the unrectified ones, which we've already got here. And the unrectified ones are the ones we need you to help us rectify or place. Let's go through that simple process now of rectification. We're going to just have a look at one we've already placed some points on. And then we're going to add a few more to show you how easy, how easy it is. Just click on the title. And because you're logged in, you'll see the rectify tab. Click on rectify. You'll notice now you have the original historic map or plan on the left hand side. You've got the base plan on the right hand side. If we scroll down, you'll see we've already added four points to this. We're going to add one more set of points just to show you how easy it is. Click on the pin marker icon. We're going to add one here. And we'll add a corresponding one just here. Most important thing after adding a pair of points is to click on add control point. If you don't do that, the points won't be saved. Once we've added our points, and we want to try and add at least four, you have to click on the Warp Image button. That's really important, or nothing's going to happen at all. So we're going to click on that. It's going to tell us it's rectifying. That's the special software doing its job with our points. Once it's rectified in just a minute, which it says here, Map Rectified, you can go straight up above here to preview and you can see exactly how the historic map or plan has been placed on the real world base plan. Here it is. We've got a transparency slider down the bottom here. You can simply increase or decrease the transparency to see how well the map has been placed. There's the creek running through Coburg and you can see it here on the base plan. So we've done a pretty good job there with just five points. You can zoom in just by double clicking the mouse and get a better eye view. Okay, so that is the plan rectified with a few points. What we can do now is share the rectified map on your favourite social media platform. You can even export it to Google Earth or email it to family and friends. And that's all going to be done here, up here. The geospatial information can be accessed through the export tab. You've got the control points here which can download into Excel. You've got the XM KML file which takes you straight through to Google Earth. And here for social media sharing and email. Okay, to see the great work that others have already done, just click on the Find Maps by Location. The wonderful thing about this is that you can put in a modern day name. You don't have to know an historic name, such as Keelor, which is a northern suburb of Melbourne. We're going to click on Find Location. Once it finds that location here on the base plan, you'll see exactly on the left hand side any maps or plans in our collection that are relevant to this location. But they'll be showing you the historic name as opposed to the modern name. So you don't have to know that due to Gala is a parish that encompasses Keylor. Let's just open that up and preview it and see exactly how well it's placed. Here it comes. 
We'll click on preview to get a better idea. And there it is. Perfectly placed in Keylor, modern day location, for that historic name due to Gala, which not many people would be aware of. Now you can literally see hundreds of placed maps already that have been rectified. We'll go to Browse All Maps. If they don't say unrectified, you know they've got control points that they've been placed and you can filter by clicking on status. And you can just have a look at all those parish plans and maps. All the unrectified ones are the ones we would love you to help us place in your own time. That'd be fantastic by creating an account. Well, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you have any issues, contact us via our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash public record office Victoria and we will respond as soon as possible. And if you get into any trouble, just remember how easy it is to delete or move any points you've made during the rectification process. Let's have a look at deleting points. Go to the Rectify tab. If you scroll down, if you click on Control Points, you'll see all the control points come up that you've rectified. If you want to delete any of those points, simply come across to the right here and click on Delete for the chosen set of points to delete. That's how easy that is. Now to move points, it's even easier. Go to Rectify, find a point you want to move, click the number 2 on the keyboard, and just move the point to where you need to go. Very simple. And do it for this one too. Click the number 2 again, and move that point to where you need to go. Done. Very simple. Happy warping!